Good morning, it's Tess, and today's tip is 372, and it's the mode of transportation doesn't matter. matter. And it's just a quote I pulled from Manifest Your Destiny, which is an Abraham Hicks book, and it's 365 quotes. I know I've showed this before, so I'm going to start by reading this quote, which is what triggered the, the topic for today. It says, consider this. I'll start that again. Consider this question. If I, am a Phoenix, if I am in Phoenix, Arizona, and it is my desire to be in San Diego, California, how would I go about getting to San Diego? The answer to this question is easy to hear. No matter what your mode of transportation, by air, by car, or even on foot, if you will face in the direction of San Diego and continue to move in that direction, then you must reach San Diego. So I think that was just kind of in pointing out that um, our journey will change. We need to change. Uh, it, it's almost like you see in, in Hallmark movies. That's not something I spend a lot of time with, but it's kind of funny. I, I seem to remember like a Christmas one at one time where they were trying to get home and it started by plane. They got snowed out. They were on a bus. They ended up in a car and I think one of them ended up on a tractor or something too. So all that mattered to them was that they were headed somewhere. They had a destination. No matter what it took to get there, they were going to get there. And if, if the thing they were doing didn't work, they got on to the next mode of transportation. And I think really, even in our health journey and our financial journey and all journeys of our life, we have to keep thinking of it or finding that thing that keeps us driving forward, driving forward remembering that just like we would have to change our transportation if we had a snowstorm, we might have to change what we're currently doing in the weight loss, the finances, uh, relationships, all areas of our life. So what we're doing today is, again, like we've all been told, if, it, if what you're doing is not working, you got to readjust the shot and take the next shot. You just got to keep moving down the road and don't get stuck. Don't get stuck at the red light. Don't get stuck trying to analyze the next step. Don't paralyze yourself, just take the next step. Doesn't matter if it's foot, boat, car, airplane, helicopter. I'm sure there'll be another mode of transportation someday, but I thought this was interesting. So I'll read this one last time and then just kind of refresh uh, that it just keeps reminding me, and again, this was Abraham Hicks, it just keeps reminding me that our journey is going to change, and the best way that we can keep moving forward is if we change. And this is from day 113 of this uh, uh, 365 quotes from Abraham Hicks. Consider this question. If I am in Phoenix, Arizona, and it is my desire to be in San Diego, California, how would I go about getting to San Diego? The answer to this question is really easy to hear. No matter what your mode of transportation, whether by air, by car, or even on foot, if you will face in the direction of San Diego and continue to move in the direction of San Diego, then you must reach San Diego. So no matter what happens, no matter what you face, uh, just keep heading in that direction. Know that the journey will look different. Know that you're going to do different things. But if but what I'm finding is that if I look at it as something exciting and a new experience to learn, it's not so painful. For too long in my life, I made things painful, and they didn't have to be painful. Open yourself up and allow yourself to experience all that, that God has put out here in this universe for us to experience. Sometimes I think we get rigid on how we think it's supposed to happen, and then we're shortcutting the experience of the guy that put us down here. So open up and try all the avenues because you might just find a better one, a more fun one, and one that will give you rewards far beyond what you ever dreamed possible. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember, just turn towards your goals and start moving down the path, being open to whatever opportunities and new ways of doing it present themselves. Don't say I can't, don't say I won't, don't say it's not me. Open yourself up to find out if there's a new you waiting to be let out. Thank you and have a beautiful day.